So do you know the difference between distance and displacement? Uh, if I'm correct, distance is a scalar, whereas displacement can be a vector. I see. But what really is the difference between distance and displacement? Let's look at it. Today, we are going to be looking at distance versus displacement. But first, let's eat up this apple that's dropped on Newton's head, and let's see what's inside the core. Sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant has given me large amounts of funding so I can change the world. And in fact, Brilliant respects me so much that using my link down in the description, you fans, all my fans, not the terrorists out there, can get a Brilliant premium offer for only 15% off. For 15% off. Distance and displacement. BTW, at the intro of this video, I believe that you will see the way their response to my little question. Alright, so, distance versus displacement, what's the difference between the two? Well, they're both just variants of length, but is there any differences we can find? Well, for one, they have different names, but hey, that's not really that much. I think that you should watch our Scalars vs. Vectors episode for more information. You know that. Click on the link down in the description. Especially brilliant link. But anyways, if you watch our Scalars vs. Vectors episode, you should know that distance is a scalar. But displacement is a vector. A distance is a scalar which only has magnitude, but Displacement is a vector which has magnitude and direction. I'm pointing at you, viewers. And so, that means that this is different than this. So, distance is a scale. How? Well, it has no direction. So, let's say that you are walking this way, 30 meters, and then you go back 40 meters. All right, so what is the distance and the displacement? By DW, you can indicate that the displacement is different than distance by taking an arrow and placing it as a hat on their head. And anyway, distance that was traveled was 30 meters plus. Uh, backwards still counts as forwards when you're talking about distance because distance is a scalar. So 30 plus 40 is 70 meters. That's the length of how much you've traveled. This plus this. It doesn't care about any direction of travel. But displacement, displacement cares heavily about direction of travel. So, displacement thinks that you are going 30 meters, all right. Distance was right there. But then, my brother, distance was wrong. This 40 meters is negative. That means 30 minus 40, he actually displaced himself by minus 10 meters. So, as you can see, he, this man was displaced 10 meters west from where he started. Thus, we can also write negative 10 meters as 10 meters to the western direction. Oh my god! Xi Jinping just observed something. Yes, Xi Jinping? Suborno. That means that the western... Did you just call me Suborno? At the professor. God damn it. At the professor. Oh, right. oh whatever. It, the West is negative, but I promise, I am not Xi Jinping. The West is not negative, I promise. Well, it is in physics, but I promise, I promise. No, not in world politics. We don't talk about that here at Barry Science Lab. But anyways, mm, this is the difference between scalar versus vector. Uh, I mean displacement versus distance. You can see that distance is clearly a scalar because they don't care about which direction it is. Well, this displacement kid do clearly care about which direction you're going. All right, what type of thing will it be this time? Ant! I'm terrible at drawing ants. Um, is that an ant, guys? Can you verify for me? Um, just uh, go outside, touch the grass, see if you can find any ants so you can just verify this for me, please. But I think this is an ant anyway. And this ant wants to go to its colony. So it travels 
60 centimeters, but in like, oh freaking crap, I forgot something. And then goes back to get the apple slice that he was going to carry to his colony. So he goes back 30 meters, uh, 30 centimeters, and then makes it all the way forward 50 centimeters to his hub with all the other things. They probably need one of these in our houses, not going to lie. But anyways, this is where he needs to get, go. But what is the distance he traveled and what was his displacement? Well, as you can see, he traveled 60 centimeters, then he traveled back 30 centimeters. But remember, distance doesn't care about direction. So 60 plus 30 is 90. Then he goes all the way back forward, which is 140 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Displacement is 80 centimeters. And so if he just picked up his crap and apples to begin with, then he would have only had to work a half as hard. All right, and what type of learner are you? Visual, auditory, linguistic? I'm gonna have to go with visual. Oh. Yeah, definitely, I think it's easier for, for me to picture things. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.